toka mjini Nyeri na bila shaka mtazamaji tutakuwa tunaendelea kuangazia jinsi hali ilivyo katika maeneo tofauti nchini Kwingineko wabunge wametilia shaka jinsi mamlaka ya mawasiliano nchini Kenya na kitengo cha uchunguzi wa jinai wamekuwa wakiangazia swala la wizi wa mitihani ya kitaifa huku ikibainika kuwa akaunti 36 za mitandao ya kijamii zinachunguzwa kwa tuhuma za njama ya kuhusika kwenye wizi wa mitihani mbele ya mitihani ya kitaifa baadaye mwaka huu kama Dalmas Sakali anavyoarifu maafisa wa DCI na wale wa mashauri ya mawasiliano nchini CA hapo jana walishindwa kabisa kubaini wahusika wakuu kwenye udanganyifu kwenye mitihani ya kitaifa wakitakiwa kueleza hatua walizochukua dhidi ya watu wanaohusika katika kupanga uhalifu huo miaka ya karibuni Miezi minne kuelekea mitihani ya kitaifa ule wa kidato cha 4 KCSE na ule wa darasa la 8 KCPE uadilifu na usalama wa mitihani hiyo tayari unatiliwa shaka huku kamati ya bunge la kitaifa elimu ikielekea kutamatisha uchunguzi kuhusiana na udanganyifu kwenye mitihani ya kitaifa mkurugenzi mkuu wa mamlaka ya mawasiliano nchini CA Ezra Chiloba na mkurugenzi mkuu wa idara ya uchunguzi wa jinai DCI Amin Mohamed walifika mbele ya kamati hiyo inayoongozwa na mbunge Julius Meli kujibu maswali ya jinsi wamesimamisha na kufungulia mashtaka watu wanaohusika kwenye wizi wa mitihani ya kitaifa you tell this committee that this National Computer and Cyber Crimes Coordination Committee is the one that has failed this country because you are talking of over the top services like tele Telegram Signal not being regulated a lot more times Mr Chair we act on an incident or a complaint that has been filed with us and a lot more times the DC will come to see and say we are investigating an issue of exam cheating and these are the details We want two things to happen from you. If it's a, an account, please help us identify the registration details around this account. Maswali kuhusu ni vipi mitandao ya jamii imekuwa ikitumiwa kuendeleza uhalifu huo yalitawala vikao vya leo. Mkurugenzi mkuu Chiloba akitakiwa kueleza ni kwa nini mamlaka yameshindwa kuwasiliana na wamiliki wa mitandao ya jamii kufunga akaunti ambazo zimekuwa zikitumiwa kusambaza karatasi za mitihani ya taifa up to last week the telegram that runs the examination council cheating was still running why is it so difficult to sort out the telegram issue some of these cases pending so but also from number 10 do you mean by pending as you pending basically means we've been unable to take them down they've not been The issues have not been resolved. Kwa miaka mitatu iliyopita, mamlaka ya mawasiliano yameshughulikia visa na vinane vinavyohusishwa na udanganyifu kwenye mitihani ya taifa. Mnamo mwaka moja, mamlaka hayo yalishughulikia visa 34 vya watu kujifanya watu wengine ili kulenga wizara ya elimu na tume ya huduma za walimu TSC huku mwaka 2022 visa vinane vikiripotiwa na 36 mwaka huu. There are two platforms that are problematic for us signal and telegram unlike facebook and meta oh, uh, facebook meta and uh, twitter and uh, google this other platform do not have a centralized contact point where you can actually have a human to human consultations on what is at stake and what needs to be done. Dakika chache baadaye, vikao hivi vilifanywa faragani baada ya DCI kudai kuwa baadhi ya kesi bado ziko mahakamani. Hata hivyo, kuko huko faragani, ilibainika kuwa DCI hakuwa anatoa habari kamili na alikosa majina hasa ya washukiwa uhalifu huu wa wizi wa mitihani. Kulingana na kamati hii ya bunge, inaonekana yapo mengi yanayoonekana kufichwa na idara husika. Sakali Dalmas KT News. Na serikali kupitia wizara ya uchumi.